If anything, Peter and MJ's relationship is a realistic... <laughs> <coughs> okay, he's being too nice about this. Time for some harsh words from the editor. The relationship between Peter and Mary Jane is just a truthful portrayal of the shaky realities of how relationships work in a decent percentage of instances. Things aren't going to go smoothly all the time. They will be ups and downs. A lot of modern day relationships suffer from people not willing to stick through these minor moments of disagreement, which makes these messages all the more impactful as their messages have aged like fine wine. And in terms of Mary Jane's behavior, it isn't far off from how modern Western women behave, such as the complaints of Mary Jane not being direct with the problems she had with Peter's behavior, along with a bit of jealousy and the cheating that Sir Romney probably already mentioned. All realistic. Her not being direct with her feelings until the breaking point? D doy Gosh, I shouldn't even have to explain this. With some occasional exceptions, women generally aren't going to be blunt and honest with their problems. Hence things like the silent treatment, ghosting, or statements like, I'm not mad, even though she is. Mary J not answering the phone literally happened. Every man has been through that at some point. Even stuff like cheating, which MJ didn't really do to a drastic degree, is still something that's realistic, as most cheating or breakups are initiated by the woman, especially in instances where a lady's relationship gets shaky, as it does with Peter in Spider-Man 3, or others that actually failed, like Harry, who didn't defend her when Gobby called her a gold digger, or John Jameson, who we don't know much about. It's why she chose Peter over them. Not that I condone cheating or anything, but it happens. With all due respect, this is just general nature, whether it be for the better or worse. All of these things are just how it works. Reading between the lines of her not directly talking about her frustrations, dealing with her being envious of others and making sure she gets attended to enough, and being there for her, and not always thinking about yourself, but thinking of what she goes through, and not being oblivious to it. So she doesn't cheat, I guess, etc. Not asking a simp or anything, but still, it's just a harsh reality, especially in Western countries, as it's become worse than the crap they claim Mary Jane is. Other forms of fiction generally tend to gloss over these negative traits in relationships. Take the other live-action Spider-Man as examples. Although I don't completely despise the love interest in those other Spider-Man movies, they still pale in comparison to Raimi's Peter and Mary Jane. Like, come on, relationships aren't going to go as smoothly as those other Spider-Men most of the time. In a way, those films sort of send a false message or a false sense of security to younger viewers, to be honest. I'm about to go, um, in Salto mode, but with all this being said, the people who roasted this relationship just have no comprehensive knowledge on how they generally behave. But anyway, slightly unrelated, but all the flack that Raimi's Mary Jane gets is more of a problem with the video game version of Mary Jane. No, not the Spider-Man games that actually deserve their praise, the overrated PS4 Mary Jane, with many acts such as her bitching at Peter for saving her, which Raimi's Mary Jane never complains about despite her being saved in every film, on top of her many other moments of dislikability and stupid missions. They also 180'd her character into Lois Lane, and she's deliberately the ugliest Mary Jane. I know there's a small, decent percentage of people who call out PS4 Mary Jane, but she doesn't get as much flack as Raimi's MJ despite being everything that Dunst is accused of being, plus being uglier. Who, who, I guess mainstream cuck YouTube critics didn't tell me to dislike her, so that's why I'm gonna give her less flack. I'm honestly about to lose my mind and bloat this video by going ham on these dumb critics and their high-thinking bandwagoners. Sarami, take it away and end it profoundly. Well, anyway, not much more I can say after that phenomenal breakdown in real-world application from my man Ultimate Joker. But, in the weight of Spider-Man No Way Home, which we'll assume is canon despite its marked inconsistencies, uh, we know that Peter and MJ really do end up living happily ever after, and making it work despite all of the hardships they experience throughout the relationship. And ultimately, it is making it through all of those hurdles which is testament to true love. At the end of the day, 
it's made clear that Mary Jane loved Peter for his nerdy, happy-go-lucky, and caring self even before she found out that he was Spider-Man, which is why she was so willing to give him so many chances to make up for his shortcomings and vice versa. They were both brought up under unfortunate circumstances, endured many ups and downs in their lives after graduating, and made mistakes throughout the relationship together. That being said, at their cores, they were good people, which is why their damaged hearts gravitated towards one another to form one whole. If you're an independent thinker who wants the full context, then click this video right here.